Here is what to do when your iPhone says no SIM. The first thing we need to do is grab a SIM card injector tool or a straightened out paper clip. We're gonna take your SIM card out of the SIM card tray. All right, how do we do it? First thing, take it out of the case. The SIM tray, unless you have a very old iPhone, is either on the left side or the right side of your phone. In this case, iPhone 12, it is on the left side. Just look for the little hole. Then take your straightened out paper clip or SIM card ejector tool because you're a nerd. Stick it in there, apply some pressure. Not just for nerds anymore, they started including these with the newer iPhones too. So if you got that tiny little metal piece with your new iPhone, that is a SIM card ejector tool. Well, I, I agree, but I don't think that most people would have saved it. Mm, that's true. Yeah, they were like, oh, I've got to go find the SIM card ejector tool. All right, so we popped it out. Popped it out. <laughs> First yep. thing to look at is make sure your SIM card looks okay, no damage. SIM card, it seems to be in good shape. Yep. Yep. SIM tray, same thing, make that, make sure that's okay. Yep, it looks like it's in good shape. And then also take a look at the SIM card slot. Okay. Maybe you just want to clean that out with an anti-static brush or an unused toothbrush. Yep, you can get in there and brush it out. As long as you're not using anything metal or crazy, it's not going to cause any damage. Yep, now before we recommend just putting it all back together, try inserting the SIM card tray back into the SIM card slot and make sure it fits correctly. If you bought your phone off Craigslist or eBay and it was a used phone, they might have swapped in a part that doesn't actually fit. It's, a, it's the wrong part. Mm -hmm. And that can cause issues with your SIM card. Yeah, if you take an iPhone 6 SIM tray and put it in a 6S, it won't work. Yeah. They're all it's, slightly different. Well, let's put the SIM card back in. Sometimes just the act of injecting the SIM card and pushing it back in can fix this problem. All right, it's back in. Yep, so give your iPhone a few seconds to reconnect to that SIM card and yeah. see if it says no SIM in the top of the screen. Yeah. If it doesn't, move on to our next step, and that is to check for a carrier settings update. Open the settings app, scroll down and tap general, then tap about. Wait here for about 10 seconds, a pop-up will appear on the screen saying a carrier settings update is available. Would you like to install it? And you, you always should. You always should, but it will only appear if an update is available. Yeah. If nothing is available, they won't tell you. But as you're waiting for this, I think this is actually a good time for you to, you know, subscribe. I mean, sure. Unless you live with an Apple expert, we're probably saving you like some hours of your life Whoa. with this video, maybe. So maybe you could hit the subscribe button, please. That would, that would be, be very greatly appreciated. appreciated. If no carrier settings update is available, restart your iPhone. To restart your iPhone, tap back to general upper left hand corner of the screen. Then come down here and tap shut down. Slide the power off will appear on that screen. Swipe it left to right. Let your iPhone shut down. Wait about 60 seconds. Turn your iPhone back on. Yep. So can't you do it with the buttons? Yes, you can, but it's a little bit different on all of the different iPhones yeah. now. So this is the same on all the iPhones. It and sure is. Easier to talk about. Next, check for an iOS update. iOS updates fix all sorts of bugs with phones, including problems with the modem or the SIM tray or anything like that. Yeah, so. especially iOS updates that have modem updates. Some of them do, some of them don't, but good idea to check anyway. We're gonna scroll back up to the top of the screen in settings general, tap software update. If an update is available, tap download and install. And look at that one's downloading right now on my phone. Is it? It is. Well, you're a developer. Yep. He's a developer. He gets all the updates. We get d updates all the time. iOS 15.4 release candidate recently came out. We put out a whole video on iOS 15.4. Link to that in the card above. I guess that candidate was uh, defeated. After updating your iPhone, it's a good idea to reset network settings. Reset network settings resets your Bluetooth devices and your Wi-Fi devices yep. and your VPN and your profiles and all that network stuff. So it's kind of a pain. Make sure that you know your Wi-Fi password at home before you do this, because you'll have to re-enter it after you do the reset network settings, but it's easier than some of the other types of restores that yep. we'll talk about later. Also gets the important cellular settings here. Oh yeah, that's what this video is about too. Let's tap back to general, upper left-hand corner of the screen, scroll down to transfer or reset iPhone, tap on that, tap reset, and then tap reset network settings. You'll enter your passcode, It'll ask you to confirm the reset, and then your iPhone will shut down, do the reset, turn itself back on. Next up, find a friend and try their SIM card, mm -hmm. because it could be a problem with just your SIM card. So if you don't have any friends, what, I mean, what are you supposed to do? You go up to a stranger on the street and say, my iPhone says no SIM card, SIM I'm card. watching this video right now, and they're telling me I need to borrow your SIM right. card for 30 seconds. Right, Please look, look, they're actually saying it on YouTube, right? Yeah. The thing to look out for here is, does your iPhone always say no SIM regardless of SIM card, or is it just your SIM card? Exactly. So when you pop in your friend's SIM card, if it connects to the cellular network, then you know it's your SIM card, and you know to go to your carrier mm -hmm. to get a new one. That's an easy fix. Yeah. Also, if you don't have any friends, this is a good solution. I'm going to talk about joining the Pay It Forward channel, YouTube members. 
Randall Hudson, James Joyce, the author, I don't know. Robert Cowart, James Bridges, Rick Siam, Mark Keproff, and SOL, which stands for Saul. Soul. Like Soul. Uh, in uh, Raised by Wolves. Yeah, or The Sun. So, like Raised by Wolves, yeah. So these are all paid for channel members. What do they get? Those cool little badges, custom emojis, access to our Discord. Giveaways yesterday, we had Wheel of Fortune. Somebody won $35, two other people won 10 bucks, and they were all members yep. because we treat members special because you treat us special. Yeah, click that join button down below. Now you said reaching out to your carrier. I found in my personal experience, reaching out to carriers directly on social media to their support accounts is the fastest way to get help. Mm -hmm. They have people there all the time and I feel like the, the phone lines get more action. So the social media accounts, there are people there, they wanna help you. Super easy to do, yeah. especially on Twitter. Now, if no SIM cards work with your iPhone, then it might be an iPhone issue, in which case you should go to Apple. I mean, especially water damage can be a, a pretty common cause of just no SIM all the time. So just be aware of that. You can DFU restore your phone at mm -hmm. home. But the problem is that the phone might not activate after you do a DFU restore. This used to be more of a problem before iPhones activated on Wi-Fi, but I'm still cautious mm -hmm. about this because if there is some sort of a problem after the DFU restore, and even it could be a hardware problem that causes this, your phone might not turn back on and you'll have just an unusable phone. So if your phone is broken, or if you're concerned about it, make sure you're at a carrier at the Apple store, have a backup phone before you try to restore a phone that says no SIM. That's it. That's what to do when your iPhone says no SIM. Thanks for watching this video. As you said, please subscribe. Please join this channel. We'd love it. Thanks. Thanks for watching.